All right, we're just waiting to connect over on um, Facebook. Oh, that's interesting. Really video. I know, isn't that cool? Yeah, so you can find out in a second. If we are going to, let's see, let me do this just in case so it does that. Whoop, okay. Great. All right. Yay, here we are. We're on Facebook. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Dana. And I'm Heather. And we're SoFlo so Moms on the Go. go. And we are so excited today to be here yes. at Roger Dean Chevrolet Stadium in Jupiter. Um, it is an absolutely gorgeous day out, and we are here to talk about the stadium as a whole, the, the teams that play here, and a lot of the great events that they have going on. Yes. So follow us along today. Um, hi to everybody tuning in. And if you are tuning in for the first time, if you're new to us, um, we're SoFlo Moms on the Go, and we're one of the fastest growing live, social media live shows in South Florida. So we share what's hot in dining for your kids, uh, the hottest spas. Um, we get to do a lot of different things. And now today we're at a stadium exactly so this exactly. is really cool so mm -hmm. oh we also do uh date night oh yeah date night i just had one i don't <laughs> so good i need one <laughs> i'm like and i need one yeah she needs one she just but so a lot has been going on like we said before we've been apart for 10 days oh i know it's been really it's hard it's so crazy i can't believe it i know i yeah. know we well, so. got to tell you, yours was way more exciting than mine yours was very exciting well also. i just went down to the keys we did a staycation so we went down to the keys and we mm. were lucky enough to stay down in ocean reef which is um what you key know, is that on ocean reef i think oh it's called i think well and um it's like its own little village but we went down to isla Mirada and went to robbie's shout out and fed the tarpon and um, you know, just did all the guy things that my husband wanted to do. That's, that's nice, and it's though. fun because we grew up in the Keys, so it was really fun. So and that's the epitome of Florida. I feel right. Everyone when they think of Florida, they think of Miami and South Beach and Orlando, but like the Keys. Oh, it just makes me relax when I go down there. So that was fun. We had a good time. Came back and, and then now I we're left. in camp mode. <laughs> exactly. And then you left. And where'd you go? <laughs> so my son turned 13, and we told him he can go anywhere he wants, and he picked Alaska. And oh, I, I said, okay. That. So we were like, okay, let's do an Alaskan cruise. So the Norwegian just um, did their maiden voyage of their Bliss boat out of Seattle June 2nd. So we jumped on on June 23rd. We did two days in Seattle, which was super fun. We did the Space Needle. We did um, the Museum of Pop Culture, which was so cool. And my younger son was like, I don't want to go. It's going to be boring. I couldn't get him out of there. Oh, that's awesome. It was really cool. It was all about like music. And then they had a whole huge room of video games, which is where I couldn't get him out of. <laughs> but um, that was so much fun. And then the cruise itself was phenomenal. We were blessed with amazing weather. And um, we got to see a bald eagle. And we got to eat a boatload of seafood and relax. And my kids had so much fun. And that's now awesome. back to reality. Yay, we're back. Sweating. loads of laundry and sweating. <laughs> and humidity, by yeah. the way. My hair was fabulous in Alaska. Yeah. Not here. Are your kids in camp this week? They're no. with my husband. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's called Camp Mom and Dad this mm -hmm. week. So we're definitely. You're a little bit more scheduled than I am, though. I had to. I'd lose my mind. So but Tell um, me what you did. You have like a No, whole I made itinerary. a spreadsheet. I made a <laughs> spreadsheet. But I had to because my oldest, she doesn't do well with downtime. And so it was nice to be like, okay, this is breakfast. This is go make your bed. This is to kind of keep them going. And they are at a great age where they can start to help me out. And I'm empowering them and they're excited. And instead of like creating a chore time, they actually, I called it mommy's helper. Oh. And they were like, we're helping mom. So one's unloading the dishwasher, which I hate to do. <laughs> and the other one is, oh my gosh, I have a countertop. And my oven is a white top. And every time you cook on it, uh -huh. it leaves like the black from underneath the pots and pans. Yeah. And she scrubs it for me. Yeah. That's it's awesome. It's the summer of mom. No, it's really awesome. So <laughs> anyways, um, but no. And then what I've done is I've actually scheduled in a morning activity that we're doing together. So we made camp flags the first day. We all, it was Camp McMeekin. And then um, we're talking about mindfulness, which is a little heavy. I don't want to get into it. But just being kind and, and loving ourselves and being just having good thoughts in the house and just really right. being positive is part of like our first theme so even me like really trying to all of us are really trying to be mindful of those kind of things 
So I'm joining tomorrow. So she's joining Cam. I'm gonna let one adult in. <laughs> but other people have asked, and I'm like, it's we're already at quota with two kids. <laughs> Anyway, so we are, you know, the juggle is real. We are here. So we're super excited today. Yes. Uh, my boys are kind of bummed that I was going to Roger Dean Chevrolet Stadium without them. Yeah. But I told them mommy has to work. Which, which is they so still don't hard. Believe. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, I don't know That's how you're working. a rough job. There. I know. But so once again, we are here at Roger Dean Chevrolet Stadium. Mm -hmm. We are going to introduce you to the marketing extraordinaire, Sarah. She's going to come in and come give us a over. little bit of a, a history of here, the stadium. in the middle here. As oh, well as... <laughs> She's like, hey. She's like, okay, thanks. Um, about the teams and so on. So give us a little bit of like the basic information about the stadium itself. Sure. So we're, uh, we're actually in our 21st season here at the stadium. So we're at the spring training facility for the St. Louis Cardinals and Miami Marlins and then we're the summer season uh, for their high A advanced uh, affiliates which are the Palm Beach Cardinals and the Jupiter Hammerheads. Uh, we also play host to their Gulf Coast League teams on our backfield so we have a whole lot of baseball for wow. anyone who's a fan. So that's it's awesome. a lot of baseball and a lot of fun but we enjoy it. <laughs> and what's so nice is it's so close by. It took us no time. You just yeah. got off the turnpike, and then you just go up. You go up central, then you take the roundabout, and then you get to Main, the Main Street. She was telling me how to get <laughs> here. Really I'm gonna have you stand easy. forward. I know the camera's like oh, scary. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I no. see it like focusing and focusing. There we go. Um, it's really Close super easy to get here yeah. too, and it's so beautiful. We were oh my god, it's so up. gorgeous up here. Center. It's sad. I've lived yeah. in South Florida for 20 years, and I've not been up this way and this is so amazing up here I love yeah, it yeah they they did a really good job of building up downtown Abacoa around it too so there's a lot of really cute boutiques and restaurants around here so the whole area as a whole is really nice it is it's gorgeous it's a nice place for families and so on that's great so now aside from all of the baseball games yes. that you guys <laughs> host here. What are some other things that you do for the community, like events or? So we're always trying to get involved with a lot of local um, businesses or organizations. So um, with the two teams here, we have a game almost every day. And yeah. so that gets a little tiring sometimes, unless you're an extravagant baseball fan <laughs> and just to live for it, which we have some of those people. That's not a bad thing. But we try to tie in these fun activities and different um, events with the baseball game. So we just did like a women's in baseball event uh, this past Saturday. We had a special guest, Sandra Shaw, come out and participate. And we actually did like BP fielding, all of this sort of drills with our Oh, wow. That would have been so, so fun. I know. <laughs> so, we couldn't go. We yeah. were bummed. <laughs> so that's fun. Um, we also have different events. We're really family focused in our events here at the stadium. So uh, we've got a great event coming up with Princess and Pirates Night. We do a Christmas in July. A lot of different events like that. So we're always trying to incorporate something fun and a lot of organizations as well. And are you doing anything for the fourth? We are. We have Mega Bash. Yeah. So we uh, third and fourth. So with the two teams, we have one each day. So we're doing a fireworks show both days, wow. big kids area, wow. lots of activities going on. So if you haven't joined us, you should come. Yeah. <laughs> no, definitely. So it's tonight and tomorrow night. Yes. Yes. What time are the games? Six o'clock. But our gates open um, tonight at five and then tomorrow at four thirty. Um, but we have a bunch of activities before the game starts as well. So it's a uh, overall fun a night. Um, we dive Jupiter Bounce doing a huge bounce house. I saw uh, them setting up. Setting up yeah, <laughs> you might have to test those out. I know. <laughs> I, I say that every year. I was like, oh, I really want to go in the bounce houses. Is that frowned upon? <laughs> no, not at all. And well, I'm saying it. Unless, yeah. But it's it's exercise. Yeah. When my kids were little, when when my oldest was little, I think it was his first or second birthday, we had a bounce house. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going in before all the kids go, so I'm bouncing. Yeah. And I'm like, <sighs> I was like exhausted. That's how after you lose the minutes. baby weight. Is that what it is? <laughs> Chasing your kids <laughs> on the bounce house. <laughs> so that's super fun. So if you guys are around July 3rd and 4th, so it's tonight and tomorrow night, there's great baseball and then there's fireworks after, which is super cool. Will you tell them, everybody, a little bit about where we are going live from? Sure, we're yeah. actually in our newly renovated suites um, upstairs. Gorgeous. So we had V-Star, which is Venus Williams's uh, design company, actually redesign our suites. Um, so cool. we're actually, we have six of them on the upper level of our stadium, and we happen to be in suite five, or actually we're in suite six right now. So cool. um, this one particularly, you probably noticed in some of the background, is for the hammerheads specifically. So This is awesome. Nice. It's gorgeous. We'll show you some pictures on our air-conditioned. I know. Yeah. So <laughs> notice how our hair is still intact, yeah. and uh, 
Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's um, we will show you some stuff on Insta stories after our, uh, we go live. Yeah, so it's, good. Check it's it out. super comfortable here. They have you can have catering, and then there is an outside area, and we love the air conditioning inside. Yeah, right now. <laughs> But um, also, aside from the events, before we get into the, the main event that we're, we're here about, is um, you guys also host camps here. Yes, right? we do. We, do. Well, we, we host a lot here, yes. Um, we partner with Tommy Hutton, uh, which is a youth uh, baseball clinic, but they work very closely with the Cardinals and the Marlins, so we take a player out each week um, and kind of alternate. So this week, I believe it's a Hammerheads player, um, but they focus on youth development, and then they use our backfields. So we're pretty unique in the fact that we have 12 total backfields, um, six oh, wow. for the Marlins organization and six for the Cardinals, so a lot of um, access for the youth uh, to come in and utilize those fields as well. So that's got to be really exciting for the kids to be able to play on the fields that yeah. <laughs> that the, the oh, baseball amazing. players play. That's so amazing. So if you didn't, you decided not to do camp, and now you can't. <laughs> you're not sure if you're going to make it through July. <laughs> There's a <laughs> camp for you up here, <laughs> Dana. We still have like five weeks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now let's get into this Pirate and Princess night that you have going on. It's July 14th. Yeah, so we're excited about it. Um, It's coming up next, um, not this coming Saturday, but the following Saturday. Um, And we're doing it in partnership with Little Smiles. Um, And we're really happy to partner with them. But it's a really fun event, really fun uh, family activity, bringing out some pirates and some princesses. Um, I believe we'll have Jasmine and Ariel. um, And then uh, Jack Sparrow coming as well, and possibly a couple more. Uh, We're going to do some more bounce houses with Jupiter Bounce, a photo booth, different activities. Last year we did um, a treasure map where if the kids followed the map to the different clues, they got cupcakes at the end. So we've got some activities and fun stuff planned for the kids. You might be following the kids. I know. (laughs) (laughs) I want a cupcake. (laughs) So that's really cool. So is this, what time does this event start? So gates are opening at 4.30 because we've got, like I said, a couple of activities planned before the game starts. And then uh, the game itself will be at 5.30 and we're excited. We have fireworks after the game as well that night. So we've got a lot planned for them. That's awesome. (laughs) I know. So this is July 14th Mm -hmm. and um, where can they go to get tickets? Um, the best place is they can either go through our website at rogerdanchevroletstadium.com or they can go directly through Little Smiles. Uh, they have an event page set up where they can go right there um, and proceeds from those tickets then go back to Little Smiles. So that's something we're really excited about. Cool. Yeah, I think it's so amazing how you're doing all these different events that are for not just baseball, not just specifically. I know everyone's like, oh, men love, women love baseball. Oh my gosh. And also One of my best kids. buds loves baseball. Yeah. yeah. Well, we had 45 women participate in this women's it's camp so the other day. That, that would have been so cool. We're, we're actually again? talking about okay, it. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about it. We've had such a great response with it. So <laughs> like, I want to come get my glove. I want to learn how to pitch to my son because he always I, makes fun of me. I'm not going to lie. Terrible. The best part was when some of the women showed up and they were so excited to just meet some of our players. They they oh. were looking at them eye candy there. Uh, sure, that's but it was that's fun, kind of still. a fun event. <laughs> Who needs a bounce house? Just yeah. take the baseball the players. Out, players out. Yeah. Oh cool. Um, no, but I think it's just great that you do things for all different age groups and mm-hmm. genders as well as for the community itself, like what you do well, with Little Smiles. I think just particularly at this level, because the guys are super young, so most of the t- uh, the players on our teams are between 21 to 24 years old, so they're not big names that people really recognize quite yet, so it's more so about the events that we put on and the activities that we do. So okay. um, baseball's great, but it's kind of a secondary thought when we do these things, so we're trying right. to hype up the event and the activities we have going on. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank you yeah, so much welcome. for having us. We can't <laughs> wait for the Pirate and Princesses night. Oh, yeah, no. and hopefully Women in Baseball, too. Yes, <laughs> I am so excited. I'm already trying to figure out what I'm going to wear. Oh, we, we did t-shirts. I need to buy a glove, or did you provide gloves? Well, Ooh. we did have some leftover gloves. Uh, we tried oh, to cool. uh, grab as many as we could, but if women had them, too, we were like, yeah, bring your yeah. own and stuff. We got hats, we too. We we're excited. Do, yeah. We should totally get gloves. Like, I'm, I'm picturing our outfit right now. <laughs> we actually did awards for it, so we <laughs> had the, um, the MVP, the She Tried, which we gave to someone who tried and then we actually had a best dressed category so oh, we cool. gave a special See, prize you would have won for, for both so, yeah you could trying and best dressed <laughs> so, oh my gosh that's great I that's all great yeah. yeah so that's we tried to make fun. it fun like that oh my gosh i'm told you don't even know what i know i can see it. it all i can picture is the other movie with um 
Madonna and is it Rosie illegal? Yes, yeah, so that's the only thing I'm thinking we of right now. Clips of it on our that's video cute. board during the whole thing, which is thing, sad, so. but yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Cool, I'm so excited. Well, yeah. thank you yeah, so much. Thanks. Thanks for and our pleasure. We're so, <laughs> so on the same line with Princess and Pirates, we are going to introduce you to Stephanie of Little Smiles. Come, Come on, on over. Hi. 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 Thank you for me. Our pleasure. So we're here and we're talking about the, the Pirate and Princess. Night. I'm going to so give everybody. Us we have here. to speak close. It's okay. kind of weird. Okay. So like, there we go. I know. Hi. There we go. Hi. I know. So where we would like to know, give us a little bit of of like history or background to Little Smiles in general. Okay, well first of all, we're so happy that Roger Dean gave us the opportunity to participate with this because it really goes well with our mission, which is to um, help kids during difficult times, just to make them smile. So this Pirate and Princess Night is just fantastic and I feel like it's a really good partnership, so we're so happy to be a part of it. Um, Little Smiles has been around for more than 18 years here mm -hmm. in South Florida. We work directly with nurses and social workers in hospitals homeless shelters, domestic violence shelters, hospice, and other facilities wow. where kids need to smile. Um, we pretty much do anything to make kids smile from wish granting to activities. Um, we throw events as well just for the kids from end of chemo celebrations to birthday mm -hmm. parties oh. to bringing in junk food and mac and cheese so the nurses have food on hand for the kids when they get hungry. Right. So we really, and we work um, all over South Florida from kind of Fort Pierce all the way down to Miami every local wow. hospital okay who needs help with their kids we help Wow mm -hmm. I hope that the hospitals all of them know, know about, about this, this. yeah because this is like awesome they do any okay. hospital with a pediatric ward we work with here okay in South great Florida. Okay. so they don't like oh my god do we need to call them yes. you take care of these babies I'm like, all right, I need to see which ones are around by me you know? yeah, yeah no, exactly. we're in all of the all of the hospitals that have any even if it's two pediatric patients like mm -hmm. even if it's a small pediatric Floor, we work with them. Wow. So how did it come about? Was it just a, a brainstorm of the people that, that thought of it? Was, did it come about from a, a personal story or situation or it was just like, we just want to help kids? You know what? Um, it was more than 18 years ago here locally. Our founder, he went to a hospital and he saw that the kids were just bored and they're just sitting in these beds and they're dealing with all of this stuff that is hard for an adult to deal with, let alone a child. Right. So he brought in movies. That's how it started. He brought okay. in videos and movies for the kids to have something to do okay. when sitting in their hospital beds. Right. So that's how it started. He started bringing that in and then, um, <laughs> and then it grew to snacks, activities, parties, and um, then we even have a, a gala that we do once a year mm -hmm. called our Stars Ball. Okay. And it's where our nurses nominate 10 children out of the thousands that they see. They nominate 10 very special children um, to participate in this ball, which where the kids get their hair done, their makeup done, oh, gowns, wow. tuxedos, oh. and they're escorted in a limo with you know, police wow. escorts and color guard and oh my gosh. right, it's insane. There's a, I just got the chills from yes. that. Like that's gotta be such an amazing It's the night experience. of their lives for these kids to see them smiling like this. They walk a red carpet. We have a brochure made with their pictures in it. So everyone's asking for autographs. They're getting interviewed by the KVJ show, a radio station locally that we work with. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just amazing. And the whole night's about them. There's a candy bar where they just stuff their faces full of candy and they dance. It's a wonderful, wonderful event that we put on once a year for them. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. It's so nice to know that there are organizations out there that really don't do this for anything other than, like you said, mm -hmm. to see the smiles, to make the kids feel good. They're going through situations that are not, you don't want anyone to go through, and right. yet they're so young. So you're really like... To have this organization out there is like I totally know. amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. And you taking the time, and she's a mom, by the yes. way. Yes, yes. So we met the littles. Do, yes, yeah. I had to bring all of my kids here today, but um, we dressed them up like pirates the, and the juggles. The juggles. Yeah, people. The juggles. Real. I love that. I know. So we definitely pay attention to our Insta stories because we have two beautiful princesses yes. and a prince that we want to take some pictures. Or a pirate. With. A pirate. Oh Sorry. Pirate. Yeah. For the event. I know. That's so but yeah, we're, sweet. Yeah, we're so very grateful that we get to partner with Roger Dean on Pirates and Princesses. So come out. And yes. I know we'll have some Little Smiles kids here enjoying all the fun. Oh, so. that's very mm -hmm. cool, That'll too. be amazing. So once again, how would they go about to get the tickets? This is for July 14th. 14th. Yes, Saturday, July 14th, 4.30. Mm -hmm. um, you can go to littlesmilesfl.org and go to our events page. And we'll okay. have Pirates and Princess on there. Um, 
we have all of our upcoming events on our events page, so you can check out any other little smiles events. We also have really fun events for adults. Oh, if you guys are into that, <laughs> oh. yeah, coming up in August, we have an event called Bamboozle, and yeah, it's crazy. It's an adult adventure style scavenger hunt. Oh, and kids cool. can come. You can bring your kids if you want. Sure. But there's, um, we go to, we have about six or seven local bars and restaurants we go to on Clematis. So oh, we have a theme, and our theme this year is um, heroes and villains. Ooh. Which I feel like, yeah, it lends itself to a lot of creativity. Yeah, it oh, can completely. be movies, it could be real life, it could be, you know, like our mm. nurses are our real life heroes, so we're Aww. doing that. Our nurses always come out and participate in this because it's super fun. And you basically dress up in costume. There's There are awards for best costume, oh, then fun. there's a scavenger hunt, and you go to six different locations to do mm -hmm. challenges. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's wow. awesome. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's really fun. And then also there's different tasks all up and down Clematis Street to the waterfront. So you have two wow. hours to complete, complete these tasks. Um, it's $100 for a four-person team to participate. And then we have Nothing. a kickoff Nothing. party. And we also have an after party where we announce all the winners and there's food and drinks. Oh, and my gosh. It's that really, like a lot of really fun. fun. You guys have fun. I know, seriously. <laughs> we do. And there's, like, all these people dressed in crazy costumes running around downtown. So it's fun for everyone. That's awesome. Yeah. Gonna, so you can right. see this. I know. It's, we're like, we got to put that on my calendar. It is August 25th. It's a Saturday. We did it right before oh. college football starts. So there's no competition with any uh, Florida, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any Florida college mm -hmm. football games. So mm -hmm. we'd love to have you guys. Oh, my oh gosh. gosh that would be, that fun. be fun. It's Rich's birthday. Stop. How much fun would it be? He would love that. Birthday. He would yeah. love that. Mark it on the calendar. Mark it on the calendar, Rich, if you're watching. <laughs> hey, Lisa. And hey, Jen. Everyone hey, Jen. Hi I know. Hi, everybody Bye. who's been tuning in. We've been chatting away. I know. Sorry. <laughs> this is so fun. Yeah. I know. Well, thank you so thank much. You. Yes. Thank and you. And guys, for having us. our pleasure. So, guys, please don't forget July 14th, 430. Uh, we will put all of the links to the websites to get the tickets as mm -hmm. well as social media accounts. Please follow. Please support. Both Little Smiles and Roger Dean Chevrolet Stadium. Thank you so much Thank for you coming. So much. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thanks. I'm excited. I'm My excited. calendar is booked now. Okay, we're full. We have a lot. We have a lot going on. This I know. I'm really excited. I know. I can't wait. So um, we have a lot going on. We do have a lot going on. So we've already added that, and we have other stuff on our calendar. So. We are, which is really fun, um, on July 21st, we are going to see the, the fun with Kat and Nat. So if you don't know who Kat and Nat are, um, they are a, actually a Facebook live show. Mm -hmm. They started out as Mom Truths on YouTube, and I think Today Show picked them up, and boom, they have just skyrocketed to stardom. They are awesome. two really amazing best friends who just have great synergy, and it was kind of funny, they kind of took off right when we sort of started. We they started. were really starting to take off. We got to meet them in person at a conference, yeah. and they're pretty cool. So they are coming to Fort Lauderdale, um, and we're excited to see them. That's July 21st. First at the Parker Playhouse, Which correct? Is yeah. super exciting. Yeah, so we're getting, we've got VIP tickets. We're going to be behind yep. the scenes. We get to hang out with them. You can get VIP tickets, too, so um, we can leave uh, links for that that what else are we yes. doing we've got a lot going we on. are going to be talking about the importance of skin care at the end of this month we're going back to the end spot marriott in delray beach mm -hmm. um it's really important and not just during the summer months when it's like the hottest but it is so important to take care of your skin and be very mindful when it comes to the sun yes yes because well, in south florida it doesn't matter it's all year round you have to wear oh, yeah. sunscreen i mean it's even worse right now but you know, because you're definitely going beach, you're vacationing, you're, you know, but I mean, you have to wear it all the time. Mm -hmm. Speaking from experience. Exactly. You should see my leg. I know. Mm. I have to get a spot removed too. So, I know. <laughs> let's talk about our dermatologist appointments. Yes, Anyways. Okay. And then, what else do we have? We are going to talk about <laughs> swim safety. So oh, right. We're super we excited. We're going to be partnering with a swim school down in Broward. Um, and we're going to be talking about swim safety and the opening of one of their new schools. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be super fun. And then we also are going to do a back-to-school mm -hmm. shopping episode with the um, with one of the fancy outlets over here. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. So you can see the fashion for your kids, both uniform-wise and the kids that can wear Not street ready for clothes. That, yeah. I know. Both of my kids are in street clothes now because they're in middle. They're going to be in middle oh, school. Why? So it's, oh, why? Just put them in. Gosh, just put them in uniform. My younger one so frustrating. Despised uniforms. 
Like, to the point where, like, it's it was so a fight easy. every morning. It's so, so easy. I know, but you know what? He likes it. He, he wants to mix it up. He's, you, he's very fashionable. It, he's a fashionista. Is that what you call it? <laughs> he's fashionable. He's, like, orange and then purple. Got the green socks. And the socks and, up to the knees. Hey, you know what? And, That's my youngest is like that, too. They've got their own sense of style. Yeah, no, you don't want to squash that. No. It's you crazy. Be a buzzkill mom, gosh. I know, I feel but it's so such bad. a pain. But anyways, that would be great because they'll help us get some back to school stuff. I need, yeah. and I end up having no clothes for my kids because we do wear uniforms. So it'll be good to get some basics for like upcoming events and things like that, holidays and stuff. So I know before we know it, it's July, people. Uh, I'm not trying to wish it away, but seriously, we all go back. What August thirteenth, eight o'clock? Oh no, they're a nine thirty start for middle school. <gasps> You just lost your morning. I just totally lost my Pilates. I will work it in. <laughs> I like how we're having a... <laughs> Let's just, just planning out our whole schedule. I know. We haven't talked in a while. So we're like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Reality checks on uh, SoFlo Moms on the Go here. Exactly. So anyways, so... Thank you guys so much for joining us here at Roger Dean Chevrolet Stadium. Thank you for having us. Little Smiles, thank you yes. for coming out. Um, we hope to see you July 14th. It starts at 4.30 here. Um, once again, all the links will be at the bottom. Yes. So and in the tickets. description and on our website and on our YouTube channel. Yes. And so you can also go to our Instagram, um, which we are live on right now at uh, SoFlo Moms. And um, you can also follow our Insta stories. We're going to show you some behind the scenes of the suite we're in today, which is gorgeous, mm -hmm. and the field, which is beautiful. It's like the perfect day in South Florida. It's a little, gorgeous. it's a warm, but it's gorgeous. Not complaining. It's not raining. So I know. All right. All right. So. Thanks, everyone. We will see you next week. All right. Take care. Bye. Bye.